Okay, video two, uh, heading down into the terrace level. Flooring does change downstairs. Uh, still hardwood. Um, and this is your downstairs living room, entertainment room. And looking out over the golf course. Off to the left, we have a couple of bedrooms and bathrooms. That is a coat closet. Uh, that door there is uh, just a large storage space. It is back behind. Got your electrical panels, services back there, a lot of stuff. And this wraps all the way back around the house, runs straight through. You can see you've got your two water heaters and air handlers over in there. So you've got mechanicals in here as well as just a lot of storage because they have a lot of stuff. out and you've got your wet bar set up over here pretty cool look with the old world brick and I've got a small refrigerator there uh, sink microwave uh, is how they have it set up uh, could be set up however you want this is access to the other side of that storage excuse me this is a closet um, this is access to the other side of that storage which also has doors that lead outside. This bathroom is shared with this bedroom that is off to our left here. So it is the bathroom that you would use for guests that are in town that are downstairs if you're just entertaining and of course obviously if you have someone staying over and this tile is that glass uh, almost like a fishtail scale excuse me fish scale uh, look size guest walk-in closet. They have a tremendous amount of towels. And then large bedroom, um, very similar in size to the master. Got 10 foot ceilings downstairs. Perfect view from this room out onto the golf course. And we'll head over to the other side. As you enter over here, you have kind of a bunk room set up here. A couple of beds down below. Obviously, all of that could be that bunk could be removed if you wanted to, um, or could just be left there for future use at some point. large walk-in closet.
do have a window behind those lights. They have it closed off. Could leave the bunk there. Could turn this into Bob's office. He's got a place he can nap. That's what I would do. <laughs> I've got it set up with a day bed. And then you have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Connects in between the two. Double basin vanity here with the commode. They have it set up a little bit differently in that. On this side over here, you have a duplicate with a single basin vanity and a toilet. So it's not quite a Jack and Jill, it's more of a two Jacks and a Jill. Um, and then they have a common shower in between, which again has your subway tile. This is three by six subway tile. Glass door. And your inlaid stone flooring. Kind of a unique setup, but also offers a lot of opportunity for having guests over and a lot of privacy. If you wanted to set this bedroom up, so that's the bedroom we just came, went into, the bunk room. And then walked through the bathroom. And then we came into this bedroom. They obviously have grandchildren. And... Got windows on either side of the bed. Also has terrific view out onto the golf course from here. And then walk-in closet over in that corner. So it could be a scenario where you could potentially turn this room here into Bob's office. Um, and then this door here just closes off because the office really just needs a powder room as opposed to needing a whole bathroom access. And that way there, that other room turns into a full suite. Possibly. And now we'll head outside. And your downstairs area. I'd have to confirm um, ability to put in a pool. Um, I believe that you can. Uh, it would just have to go kind of off to the left side over here. And it is you now starting to really pour. But you can see your view. So if you look up for lot positioning, if you can see straight through, there are two houses. The house that is off to the left is the house that was next to lot 105 and lot 106 that you really liked. So right at the top of that knoll of the fairway is lot 106 to give you a sense of your positioning of where we are. So property just has a spectacular view.
that's the house.